Today I'm going to show you how to build an automated plant watering system or we could call it a babysitter for your plants. That way if you're away for an extended amount of time you can have this box that will automatically deliver water to your plants at a set time every day or a set time every two days or a set time up to every seventh day of the month. For our project we're going to start with a box. You can make it a simple box. I went with something really complicated because I don't know why and since we're working with water that's going to be inside our box. It's best to coat your wood if you're using wood. Here's the basic view of parts. We have a pump, light, an Arduino, controlling a relay, and some nylon tubing. Our box has little bars going across that hold the bottom platform in. It's nothing fancy, no brackets here. That's what the platform looks like in. Our control panel is just wood, and this is what all the electronics look like when they're connected. I'm just using Arduino that switches on and off a relay that's controlling an outlet and that outlet will be plugged directly into a pump which is going to deliver water to our plants. Here's what everything connects to as far as the Arduino is concerned and just what that connection looks like as you build things. We connect the LCD to potentiometers that will control our pump duration and day of the week interval and the rest of the buttons to set the time as well as override the relay if you want to do that. Everything mounted from the back and we'll start putting our electronics into the box. LCD gets mounted and wired and then we'll mount the relay as well as the outlet. There's lots of ways to do this. Most of those ways are wrong. This is one of those disclaimers. If you're mixing water and electricity, especially 120 volts, you know, this is the don't try this at home kind of thing. So I warned you don't do this at all so you don't get hurt. Now we're going to connect the Arduino to the relay board. We'll work on the water side of things. The pump sits in a little reservoir which is just a plastic tub and nylon tubing goes out and it gets teed and then teed again to split it into four connections. I chose four just for symmetry to have four plants and we're going to mount all this stuff using a pre-cut like grid that rests on the top you can see the holes are where the nylon tubing gets fed through. To wire the lights, since plants need water and light would be a good thing, I'm going to just take a regular cord from, I think, a vacuum, cut it up, and then wire these two plastic bulb receptacles in parallel and mount them to the top panel. And then that gets dropped in like so. We'll connect power to the Arduino, then connect the lights and the AC adapter for the Arduino into the outlet that's always on and then we'll connect the pump into the socket that's controlled by the relay. Close everything up and test and you're done. I also made some 3D printed clips so these hoses you can cut to length or you can clip them onto the side of your plant so they stay there. Just a 3D printed part with a screw threaded in. Here's the four plants I guess you could deliver water to. The software is nothing special. It's just an Arduino tracking time. But the one thing that I got stuck on for a while was how to get this to water on a set day interval. So what I ended up doing is making this chart, and once I had the chart sort of down, I figured out what math I needed to apply to make this formula. I know it sounds like a roundabout way, but I just have trouble visualizing things sometimes. So what we're doing is we have, we'll say, 31 days in a month, and we want to water every one day, two day, three day, four day, up to seven days. So we're going to use a modulo equation where the day of the month is 1 through 30 and the day water every X day is 1 through 7. So the way this works is the day of the month divided by the water on every X day. And if that equates to zero, meaning there's no remainder, that's what modulo is, if it equates to zero, we're going to turn the pump on. So you can see 1 divided by any number, the remainder is always zero. So that would be water every day if water every X days is 1. If we look at the same for dividing by 7, 7 divides by 7, 14, 21, and 28, so 4 times a month with no remainder. So you can see there's 4 watering days per month if we set the water every X day to 7. And here it is in action. 
We can plug it in. The lights are always on. You could change the relay setup. So this triggers, you know, 12 hours a day, 18 hours a day, whatever you want. The clock can be set locally and the relay can be set locally, just like a normal clock would. When the switch is in the center position, it's everything's active. We'll activate the alarm and if we set the clock and alarm to go off at the same time, the relays will trigger, you can hear a little beep, and that's it. There's also an override, and the screen will tell us if the alarm is active. Here's the adjustments for water every X day and how long the pump is on when it triggers, so this can control your water delivery to the plants as in volume of water. I have a light hooked up in place of the pump, so you can see how the relay is triggering the outlet. And when the alarm goes off, it's triggered, and you can see after five seconds or a lapse, the outlet turns off, so that's again controlling the pump on and off. If we add some water to the system, we can see the pump in action. I'll set everything to trigger at 411, and you can see triggers, and the pump duration is 11 seconds, so the pump will automatically turn off after 11 seconds have elapsed from the time of alarm. And this is if you want to just turn the pump off manually, you can use the overrides. Good to make sure you're not spilling water everywhere. That's it.